part of your adventure. My colleague Vinay, known for his driving, was carefully navigating those very narrow lanes of the sea, while the rest of us in the car were thinking along. But chatero, pet, ninety point five, but chatero. And suddenly, a car parked on the side of the road, loaded with light. And pulled into the middle of the road right in our path. Mr. Ponder's chair, ladies and gentlemen. We then immediately slammed the brakes and cut right to avoid the side swipe. An inch closer, an inch closer, my Pani Puri would have become Papri Chap. But thanks to Vinay and the 19 million gods in India, we passed without a scratch. After a few seconds, Vinay turned around and restlessly said, A kakoi ladki ho. Definitely must be a girl. Dear those masters and friends, that moment, when I got my thinking, if women are really bad drivers, are women really not capable of handling cars? However, we all turned around. And in fact, it was a gentleman in the car. This thought of stereotyping makes me really bad. And the worst part is, these stereotypes are considered normal in our society. Let me tell you, Statistically, women are actually better drivers. Men are 3.4 times more likely than women to get the tickets for their reckless driving. According to a study by Quality Plan, which is a research firm that works for insurance companies. Hey, hey, since you are a girl, you better ride a girl scooter because you cannot change it. More assumptions. We all know Gulpana. The famous Indian actress, model, a former beauty queen, is an avid bike rider. And now she is a licensed pilot too. This actress has pushed the boundaries and breaking the stereotypes has totally made it. Basically, here the assumption is about gender. Something absolutely okay to ignore, one could say. But it is just a fraction of a second that an assumption, say Ramya is a bad driver, turns into a stereotype, women are bad drivers, and then turns into a judgment. Women should not be given licenses. And finally, if a prejudice, I will not allow my daughter or wife or sister to drive her. Don't you think the gender behind the myth was not the culprit, but the arrogance, carelessness was? But who cares? Let me tell you about another prejudice that is enveloping the world. Meet Mr. Norbert, an Iraqi translator who assisted the US Army. But one night, he had to pack his luggage and flee with his family because he was targeted for death by al -Qaeda. He leaves the United States of America on a special immigration visa. But then, Norbert was not welcomed. Instead, he was sent back. He was forced to remain in danger in Iraq solely based on his religion and ethnic background. Unfortunately, his service for the US completely disregarded. And let me tell you, Norbert was not alone in this flight. There are many Iraqi translators who risked their lives for the US, but the immigration right back left the boy cold. Isn't this unreasonable assumption about a religion of community tearing families apart? But who cares? Get those masters. That one habit. We all have, but really think of it as a habit is assumption. Oh, you're something new, but not, you're not even dark. If so much attitude, he must be from North Delhi. What? You are from North 
is India but no Asian features? Oh, Anna Kusumi is Assami. Seriously? How? God, he didn't reply me yet. He started ignoring me already. Hey, hey, she is 29 years old, but still not married. Something fishy. Leave Rangan man. He is always busy and to himself. He is too angry social. You know, sponsors, don't you think all these are mere assumptions? What happens when you assume? You make an ass out of you and me assume. So dear those masters, stop creating stories in your head. Because most of them make yours and others' lives miserable. When we make a conscious effort to stop assuming about our workplace, partners, religion, region, community, only then relationships grow. Ideas flow and we make better decisions. So start communicating, be open minded and then intersect. So yeah, one final thing. From now onwards, before you judge anyone, step into their shoes first. Walk the lives they have been walking. And then, if only you reach as far as they are, just maybe you'll understand how stronger they are. But yeah, don't forget to return the shoes. Don't steal the shoes. God is true. <laughs>